Now, the, the yeah. patients that you see, do you see most of them uh, who ha lose a lot of weight on their own or after a procedure? I'll, I'll tell you, for, for the patients who lose a significant amount of weight, the, the ones that lose, you know, the 100 or 150 pounds, those patients have had a procedure. Once in a blue moon, we will run into patients that are very motivated and have made dramatic changes in their life that have lost that amount of weight in a period of one or two years, but exercising. I've had a couple of patients of mine who have been, you know, something, a major event in their change, in their life changed, and they decided, I'm going to get now with it. But it has been not a diet. It has been working out, a very organized physical workout, and uh, and a well-managed nutrition. So it hasn't been something that has changed from one day to another. It's been something that has been gradual and it's, it's worked together. Do you find yourself sometimes, because I, I, I spoke with a physician friend of mine who said she never tells people to do a workout because she finds that most people just react, oh, I've got to work out, I've got to get in the yeah. gym. Don't sometimes you have to sort of sort of soft pedal it a little bit no, and you say you just need to get your body moving again. You, you gotta get active, for sure. For sure you gotta get active and, and, and the older we get and the heavier we get, you know, you just can't think that you're gonna go and do one of those PX90 videos and start jumping. That's, that might be designed for a 20 year old. If you start doing, at my age, if I start doing something like that, you're gonna hurt yourself. The next day you're gonna be in a lot of pain and you're, gonna not, you're not gonna go back and work out. So it's like you said, it has to be something that you're gradual. You start walking, you start increasing, and it's baby steps, you know. If you used to take two Cokes or two soft drinks when you were eating, stop the soft drink. Just, you know, have your regular food, take the soft drink out. Just start taking little things out of the diet and at the same time, you know, start increasing your, uh, your activity. Instead of taking the elevator, take some of the steps. Things like that that you just gradually incorporate into your lifetime. Uh, but you do have to have a lifestyle modification. If, if you don't do that, and you have to make it fun, because if you said it's not gonna last long if it doesn't become a lifestyle modification.